So on behalf of Assistant Director John Perrin, who is not able to make it here today, uh, the FBI and Interpol, it's my pleasure to formally conclude uh, the International Law Enforcement Critical Infrastructure Symposium. I'd like to thank our distinguished guests for traveling so far and taking the time for this, this important international event. We hope, as I have, uh, found the symposium to be productive. The FBI would like to thank Interpol for co-hosting this conference and supporting the attendance of over 90 of its member countries from around the world. So, thank you for Interpol. I'd like to extend a sincere thanks to the individuals who worked long hours to prepare, coordinate, and finally to conduct this symposium. Many individuals helped out, including the FBI Weapons of Mass Destruction Directorate, the FBI Police, uh, our Office of Public Affairs, uh, the FBI interpreters, and importantly, our Interpol colleagues. And our greatest appreciation goes out to Miami, uh, in particular to the Miami Police Department, uh, the Color Guard, the emergency responders, and most importantly, our Miami FBI field office, without whom this would not uh, have been, this event would not have occurred. We also need to thank our prestigious presenters. Uh, the topics addressed by the presentations in the breakout sessions were timely. They were relevant. They covered current issues. They covered cyber, past incidents such as the Marriott terrorist attacks, from which all we can learn a great deal. We were incredibly fortunate to have been able to call on our industry, private sector, and international law enforcement colleagues to provide us with their teachings and their perspectives. So we thank you for that. As you know, our purpose was to enhance inter international law enforcement efforts aimed at protecting critical infrastructure. And we hope that the presentations, the breakout sessions, the demonstration, and the conversations that you've had with your colleagues across the world have helped to identify best practices you can implement when you return home. Let us remember what Mayor Giuliani said. Now, more than ever, we must devote our time, our resources, and our training to ensure that we are relentlessly prepared. We must all continue to assess the threat, identify key resources and critical inf infrastructure, both inside our borders and those that we share with other nations. Uh, let us work across the government, the private sector, and with international partners to establish working groups and to develop and refine our response plans. Lastly, we hope that the people you've met here whether they are FBI weapons of mass destruction coordinators, other Interpol colleagues from the other side of the world, or even a neighbor, neighboring country or private sector colleagues, that these contacts and connections will serve you in the future. Take advantage of these relationships. Work with your partners to share more ideas and to increase the exchange of information and intelligence. On the first day of the symposium, FBI Director Comey said our greatest weapon is unity built on intelligence and interagency cooperation. It's built on the idea that standing together we are smarter and stronger than we are standing alone. Because no one person, no FBI agent, no country, no agency can prevent or respond to an attack on critical infrastructure alone. Good luck to you all and be safe. <laughs>